Good morning, Modern Setters. This morning we need to do a few things in the pig's pen to get them set up for the week. But look at this. Look at all the apples that fell overnight. Oh man, we gotta get them picked up first and then we gotta put the pigs in their pen. Normally I shoot with a wide-angled lens on the camera and I think sometimes when we're walking around that kind of messes everything up and makes it extra shaky. So this morning we have our regular lens on. Well, I want to see how this video comes out. I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. Let me know if you can see a difference in the video quality. Let me know if you like the wide angle better because you get a bigger view of what's going on. Look at all these apples. They're getting all bruised up. That's why we're giving these ones to the pigs right now. Falling off the tree onto the driveway, they're cracking up. We don't want to save any bruised ones or cracked ones. We hit 10,000 subscribers the other day. Thank you, Modern Stedders. And for that, we're doing a giveaway. I'm gonna put a link to a blog post right here. Click on the link, read the blog post, and it's gonna tell you how to enter in to win for your chance to win three different incubators from Coops and more. Let's see if we can get the pigs back in their pen. Come on, girls. Come on. You gotta work on your wood chips. Good job. So we need to get them some more grain. They're getting low. And I wanna check on their water. I think we need to chop their water off for the week. Yep, they're a little down there. So we're gonna to top the water off and top their grain off for the week. Once I know the fence is up to 8,000 volts, I wanna shut it off. I don't want to get zapped by that. Normally we give them one bag of grain at a time in their automatic feeder. They're going through it so fast, which is a good thing. We're going to put two bags of grain out there. We got a package arriving later on this afternoon and I can't wait till it gets here. When it does, we can start our new project. Make sure you stay to the end of the video and you can see what's in the box because it's not here yet. They say a pig will go through about 20 bags of feed in the six months it takes them to get them to market weight. So we bought a pallet this spring when we bought our piglets, which is 40 bags, so enough to do two pigs. And I was thinking the other day, boy, we have a lot left over. We're going to have some left over at the end. But now I'm thinking, they're going through it pretty quick. They're going through almost two bags a week, which is great. It'll really help pork them up and beef them up and get the weight on them, no pun intended. So I don't think we're going to have much grain left over, which is a good thing. I don't want to have to sit on pig grain for a whole nother season.
also did a live video on Friday when we hit 10,000 subscribers as a thank you. If you missed the live video, I'll put a link to that video right here. We were talking on the live video. I'm gonna hold up one second. Some of the modern setters were asking on the live video if we plan on doing more live videos. So I was asking them what they thought. And I want to know, what do you guys think? Do you like doing live videos? Would you like to do a hangout once a week, once a month? Leave it in the comments down below. It can be quite interesting sometimes trying to get the grain in the feeder. The pigs get a little cushy. This is a homemade feeder that me and Olivia made. I'll put the link to that video right here. But we just put two 50 pound bags of grain in here and there's still room for more. I bet you we could put a third bag in here. They love the feeder. I had to go get two more five gallon containers of water. Ten gallons didn't do it. I think 20 should top the barrel off for the week. I don't know about you, but watching that just doesn't get old. I don't know if it's the kid in me or what, but I could watch that all day. Eat the grain, not my pants. You're gonna get me all dirty for work. I'm gonna be all dirty. You gonna make me change before I go to work? Huh? We'll get one more. Eat your grain. There, we don't want them to run out of water. I always like to make sure my pigs have access to plenty of feed and plenty of fresh water. We don't want them to run out. Eh, the 55 gallon drum I would say could hold maybe another five gallons, but they would this would take them probably a month to drink. I just like to make sure it's full most of the time. That way if you ever have a power outage, 
who knows what could happen? They'll always have water. come home from work and this is what I find is sitting on our stoop. Would you look at that? Do you know what one of our next big projects is going to be? That means we get to start putting the the off-grid outdoor kitchen. Awesome. And on Friday's live video we were talking about food dehydrators. If we don't have one and we'd like to get one I'm not saying I still don't want to get like an Excalibur or something to try, but let me show you what I picked up today. This is a huge score for me. I'm going to show it to you and I want to know what you think of when you see it. So I am seeing the glass for a solar powered food dehydrator. Do you see it? We got southern exposure over here. We got a nice gravel bed. I'm thinking right here-ish might be a good spot for that. That's going to be a fun build project. I think that'll, that'll be a winter one. I'm going to be scheming up some plans in my head for a solar food dehydrator. How can it get any better than that? We can dehydrate our food with sun power. That just makes me wild. And I was able to get the smaller brown screen in front is for those doors and it's an aluminum screen and it's a nice aluminum frame I don't know if I can use the whole setup in the food dehydrator but I'm gonna have to work on plans so I can let's go let the pigs out on pasture you just never know what we're gonna be up to here at Lumina Acres half the time I don't even know what I'm gonna be up to I wasn't planning on getting those glass panels I've been thinking about building a solar food dehydrator and knew I needed to find some glass and today that glass just literally fell in the back of my truck so that's awesome do you girls want to come out are you ready oh spots is ready What are you doing, Mrs. Pigs? I smell apples. You girls enjoying some apples? Hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping the channel grow. I wanted to thank all the modern steaders for that. We hit 10,000 subscribers on Friday. Woohoo! And for a thank you for that, we're going to be giving away three different coops and more incubators. We're giving away a 36 egg incubator, a 24 egg incubator, and a 12 egg incubator. If you want to know how to get in on that contest, there's a link down in the description below. Click on that and you're going to find out how to enter in to win. We can't wait to give them away and hear all the stories of the modern steader hatching out their own chicks. That's going to be awesome. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.